The enchanting beauty and gracefulness of pumas are combined with cold-bloodedness and bloodthirstiness. With their incredible strength, agility, and courage, they have always evoked contradictory feelings in people. But fear has always come first, and not without reason. After all, the victim, chosen by the cougar, whether it is a beast or a man, has almost no chance to survive. Eight times out of ten, the cougar has the upper hand. In the wild, the puma lives up to 20 years. It has practically no natural enemies, only with jaguars, which are much stronger than them, they wage an irreconcilable war. But thanks to the puma's agility and swiftness, the battle most often ends in a draw. Some pumas are quite impressive in size. It reaches 2m in length with a tail size of 80 centimeters and a weight of 100 kilograms. However, those living on the plains weigh twice as much as mountain cats, and there are also very miniature ones, only 1.5m long and weighing 45 kilograms. The main gastronomic preference of the puma is deer. If this delicacy is not nearby, in the fight, for example, with a bull or elk ended in failure, the cougar may well be satisfied with armadillo, coyote, anteater, porcupine, skunks, small birds and their eggs, and even snakes or frogs. Sometimes they attack livestock as well. Moreover, an open fight is not typical for pumas. They prefer to track their prey first, then cautiously sneak up to it and suddenly attack. Silently approaching its prey, the predator makes a swift jump and kills it with a single bite to the throat or scruff of the neck. Once satiated, the cougar drags the remains of food to a safe place and covers it with leaves and twigs. When there is enough potential food, it does not return to its hiding places. In case of an unsuccessful attack, the puma will never pursue the game, as it can run at a fast pace, about 80 kilometers per hour, for only a few minutes. It is much easier for it to start stalking again. In the mountains and in open areas, cougars hunt both in the daytime and at dusk. But in the tropics and in those places where she herself is often the object for shooting, she chooses nighttime, making a range of up to 40 kilometers. Pumas are individualistic predators, preferring to live in solitude, without violating the sovereignty of other people's possessions. But in fact, in this, and there is no special need, the area occupied by only one male is 30 and more square kilometers. The females have more modest claims. They are enough in 10 to 20. Although even this territory can be traveled by the animal only in a few days. Pumas reach sexual maturity in their third year of life. It is only during the mating season that adult pumas break up their loneliness and form pairs. During courtship, the animals make loud meowing sounds, which can be heard at a distance of more than three kilometers. Sometimes several males gather around one female, and then a conflict situation is created, accompanied by bloody fights for the right to be the strongest. The pair remains faithful to each other for a short time, only a few days, after which the male leaves his spouse. The female takes care of herself during the entire gestation period, which lasts about 100 days. As labor approaches, the female finds shelter in a cave, dense shrubbery, or in the roots of a fallen tree. The litter usually contains one to three kittens. Sometimes five blind cubs are born. Their eyes open after two weeks. The length of newborns is about 30 centimeters, and they weigh 300 to 400 grams. Their fur is spotted, and their tail is striped. For the first two to three months, they are completely dependent on their mother, as they feed only on her milk. But after that, they change from milk food to meat food, increasing their weight tenfold. At six months of age, the spots on the skin begin to fade and then disappear altogether. The cubs stay with their mother for up to two years. After that, the family breaks up and young cougars go in search of their own living space. Sometimes they have to walk more than a dozen kilometers to find a suitable place free from tribesmen. The puma is a very patient animal. Even when trapped, it silently endures suffering. And only when it loses a cub does it allow itself to squeal. It is the only pain it cannot bear. Interesting fact. Before the arrival of Europeans on the American continent, pumas were found in all forest and mountain areas of the New World. The Indians treated them with reverence, attributing to them magical power, and to scare away dark forces they hung the claws of this cat in front of the entrance to their dwellings. The settlers, however, did not share their fondness for these predators, enticed by the possibility of easy prey, destroyed farmers' livestock in great numbers. One of the puma subspecies living in the states of Wyoming, Colorado, and Utah even received the name horse exterminator. Therefore, mass extermination of predators began. People built traps on them and also hunted with dogs, 
which drove cougars into a tree, where they became a convenient target for shooters. In many U.S. states, there was even a reward for killing a cougar, up to $500. Paradoxically, the extinction of these animals led farmers to much more devastating consequences. The population of armadillos rapidly increased and dug up all the fields. Livestock falling into their holes broke their legs and died. But despite the obvious impracticality of extermination, these big cats were completely eradicated in many places of their former range. Among the vast family of felines, the puma holds a unique record in terms of range area. In North America, it reaches across the Rocky Mountains to Canada and covers almost all of South America up to and including Patagonia. On this territory, passing through two continents and stretching for 13,000 kilometers, pumas feel themselves real masters. They easily climb trees and mountain slopes, and if necessary, they can overcome in water spaces. Possessing exceptional leaping ability, the puma can jump up to a height of 4 meters or jump down to 18 meters without the slightest harm to itself. Their favorite habitat is mountain forests, rising up to 3,000 meters above sea level in the Chilean Cordilleras. However, pumas also do well in swampy areas, in prairies, in dry semi-deserts, in flat tropical forests, and even in almost treeless pampas. The question of where to live, cougars decide for themselves solely on the basis of the availability of game.